Hello everybody, this is a quick video response uh, to Sami Zatari's uh, video, Christian Extremists Pray for Obama's Death. And uh, for once, I actually agree with a Muslim individual. Uh, first thing I want to say is I haven't heard about assassination attempts against Obama. If there were in fact two assassination attempts, uh, you'd have to demonstrate that they occurred and that they were in fact Christians who, who actually uh, attempted it. So. Uh, in terms of Psalms 109, you're absolutely correct about its context, and it is a, uh, a, a very poor uh, choice of scripture to use against Obama because it does lead to saying that uh, Christians want Obama dead, uh, and they are attacking his wife and his children. Um, and uh, so, and you're correct. There are Christian extremists. I've met them online. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I think these Christians uh, should recant this prayer um, and they should apologize, really. Um, uh, they can argue, I suppose, that they're just using the, the single verse on its own, uh, but they have to be aware of the context, as you say, and, and so it, it's, it's just it's very unfortunate. Now, I think we should kind of categorize uh, Muslim extremists and Muslims and Christian extremists and Christians because uh, there are very nice Muslims out there. Uh, in fact, most of the Muslims I've uh, kind of met and, and, and engaged with uh, on YouTube, especially in emails, are very nice, uh, they're very smart, um, and they seem to genuinely care. Uh, uh, they seem to think that uh, my worldview is going to send me to hell and they're concerned about that. Uh, so they and uh, so they talk to me about it and stuff and and about the Quran and all that stuff. So uh, there are a lot of nice Muslims out there. Uh, not all Muslims are extremists. Uh, and at, uh, on the same side, there are Christian extremists. In fact, I just met one on YouTube who wrote me an email because I, in a recent video, said that uh, Jesus was a prophet, and uh, in Islamic theology, Jesus is a prophet. And so he kind of flipped out on me, saying that we can't say Jesus is a prophet um, because then we are taking on Islamic theology. And um, so he was he was uh, very confused on that, and uh, he seemed to have this this hatred for Islam, basically, and it was showing through in what he was saying. So there's a lot of Christian extremists. There's Christians uh, that cuss and yell at you on YouTube, um, all kinds of stuff. So um, uh, there's bad apples. Uh, uh, and basically any worldview. In fact, a perfect example of a Christian extremist would be Casey Dill. You go to Casey Dill 2's channel and you'll see that she uh, thinks homosexuals uh, should be put under the death penalty. She doesn't want homosexuals to be saved and go to heaven. She wants them to die and go to hell. Uh, so she is very extremist and the last thing I would call her is peaceful. And there are Christians who seem to want to think that all Christians are peaceful loving people and they're not. Um, there are Christians out there who are very far from being peaceful. Uh, so uh, there are extremists on both sides. Uh, as far as the media reporting it, um, they did report it. Uh, you actually pointed a link to it. Uh, but it didn't explode into this big old thing, uh, but it was still reported. Um, uh, it should be said also that the media, especially in America, they're mostly liberal uh, and they hate religion. Uh, so the media is not pro Christianity because this whole thing didn't blow up in, in, in our faces, so to speak. Um, and there is lots of Christ, uh, Muslim extremist activity that are not reported uh, in the mainstream press. Um, so it may appear to some level that maybe there is a, a, an unbalance, and, and it may be true, uh, but uh, the unbalance is not as extreme as one might want to think it is. For example, you probably have no idea who this woman is and who this woman is. Uh, well, neither does CNN, ABC, Fox News, NBC, any of the American news stations, none of them have a clue who these women are. The Judge Report doesn't even have a clue. Um, so, uh, and these are two Christian women who were forced into marriage with Muslim men, and those Muslim men reportedly raped them and beat them on a, a repeated basis. Uh, one of them, this one right here, uh, has actually now been legally removed from that marriage and has been physically moved away from uh, Muslims. Uh, this one is still legally attached and she is raising money um, to uh, pay for a lawyer to get herself legally removed and then physically removed. So there is uh, extremist activity on both sides that are not being widely reported. 
um, and, and are not becoming big outrages. Um, it is unfortunate, the whole Psalm 109 thing, um, and I pray for those Christians. I hope that they uh, recant and they repent. And um, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, God bless.